Hello everyone, I'm Heather and it's time for the April 2021 travel news update. First in general travel news, on April 2nd, the CDC announced that travel is low risk to fully vaccinated Americans. The CDC did still advise against travel. However, it says that if you're fully vaccinated, you're at relatively low risk of contracting the virus while traveling. France issued a new lockdown, which is in effect through May 3rd. Disneyland Paris is closed indefinitely. Closure of the land borders with both Canada and Mexico have been extended through May 21st. The United States State Department designated 80% of the countries of the world as a level four do not travel, their highest travel warning. This is in response to the status of the pandemic in those countries. According to officials in Brussels, fully vaccinated Americans may be able to travel to European Union countries as soon as this summer. However, more information still needs to be released. In theme park news, Universal Studios Hollywood reopened on April 16th and annual passes can once again be used starting May 17th. While Disney World announced that the Food and Wine Festival will run this year from July 15th through November 20th. With the ending of Disney's Magical Express in Jan on January 1st, 2022, many of you, including me, are probably wondering how you're going to get from the airport to Walt Disney World in the future. Mirrors Connect will debut in January 2022. You can start making reservations in May. They didn't announce any pricing for this, but once reservations are available, we should be able to see what they are. This will no longer be a free shuttle service between the airport and Walt Disney World, unfortunately. Knott's Berry Farm in California will reopen to annual pass holders on May 6th and to the general public on May 21st. The city of Venice has banned cruise ships and container ships that weigh over 40,000 tons from the historic center. This is an ongoing situation in Venice. They are considering building a new cruise terminal at a location outside of the historic center. Norwegian Cruise Line has announced that they are making vaccination mandatory on all cruises and there will be no exception for kids. Three Norwegian Cruise Line ships are going to be sailing this summer. The Norwegian Jade will be sailing out of Athens beginning July 25th. The Norwegian Joy will be sailing out of Jamaica beginning in August, and the Norwegian Gem will be sailing out of the Dominican Republic also beginning in August. Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas will begin sailing year-round from Los Angeles in November 2021, and Virgin Voyages has moved their debut sailing to the United Kingdom starting in August. That's it for the travel news for April 2021. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my monthly travel updates. Give me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and safe travels.